Okay, I'm going to show you how to rewrite the serial number of uh, an MTK chipset phone, any phone that uses an MTK chipset, that's MediaTek. Uh, in my case, this is a Techno Common C9. Uh, it was given to me by a, um, a friend, and this happened to be her friend's phone. Um, so, this is a phone that the owner, when he put in his lines to make a call, it could read the line, however, wouldn't show the network buzz. And when he would try to run a USSD code um, or make a call, it would uh, give him the notification network unavailable or invalid IME. So at this point, he approached me. So I asked him to check whether the phone was showing the right serial number by typing star hash 06 hash for which he got the feedback IME1 invalid, IMEI2 invalid. It's a dual SIM phone. So I'm going to show you how to rewrite the serial number or IME number of a phone that shows invalid IME but this is for only MediaTek chipsets this was a techno that was running using a MediaTek chipset so um, this is done using the Maui metadata tool I have version 9 if you don't have you can go online so search for it and then download i'm going to write mine as administrator now you should have your phone fully charged or at least 50 percent charged with a functioning usb and at this point your phone should be uh, switched off um, so uh, you should not this method will work for any Phone that uses MTK chipset. So my utility has opened up. So I'll go for the reconnect button and plug in my phone. It should be able to boot into meta mode in which I can now write, be able to write the serial number. And as a disclaimer, do not use a serial that is not yours use what is written on the box of the phone or the back of the phone if that is worn out then at least use that of the phone you owned that is no longer being used but is truly yours because you don't want flashing another mine is a dual sim but now it shows only one so i'll go to change nva ram and second sim card will show so the ime is usually 15 digits but i'll type in the first 14 and this tool automatically will suggest a 15th digit um, and then be careful to not type the wrong ime and for legal purpose it should be your ime now mine has suggested automatically the 15th digit as a 4 now next I'll go to SIM card 2 and also type in the first 14 digits of the IME. Oh, by the way, these were provided by her from an older phone that uh, she was no longer using. And this one also has suggested the 15 digits as a 3. So I'll go to flash, download to flash and click on it. At which point the IME download to flash is successful. So I'll close this window and then disconnect. This should be able to reboot the phone into the normal mode. And at this point, after it boots, I was able to check for the IME by simply typing star hash 06 hash and yes. Voila, 
and lo and behold my seals were reflecting and it turns out it started showing the network bars and when i ran the ussd codes and uh, they were going through so i was able to check my balance and the calls were successful so this should be able to work for any phone that uses mtk chipsets i've seen a huawei i've seen the techno and uh, samsung is also using mtk chipsets so all the best phone lookout